So tonight we have these alternatives for dinner and I'm going to ask Hannah to explain to me what are the environmental consequences of these different choices. I know that these two are probably healthier if we have them more often and we probably should have these less often in terms of our health, but I'm not sure about the health of the environment, so I'd like to ask Hannah about that. So it turns out that what's healthier for you is also healthier for the environment. We're very lucky. So when we look at these options, the beef and the chicken, there were a lot of fossil fuels that actually went into producing this food. It goes into the corn that the beef eats, there's a lot of pesticides and fertilizers that come from fossil fuels, it goes to the shipping, the transportation, the manufacturing, and there's actually 30 times the amount of greenhouse gas emissions that come from a kilogram of beef than from a kilogram of lentils. Wow, that's interesting. So as we look at this spectrum, this has the most greenhouse gas emissions that come out of it. Chicken is better, it's more, much more efficient than beef, but these are the best choices. Also, it takes a lot more water to produce the chicken and the beef than it does to produce these vegetables. There are thousands of gallons of water behind every hamburger. In addition to water, we use antibiotics to raise these animals, and we use it just to fatten them up more quickly and to prevent them from getting sick because they're so crowded together. This could be really bad for humans because if it creates antibiotic resistance in animals, those bacteria could spread to humans and we wouldn't have a way to fix it. Lastly, the cows and the chicken create so much waste that we don't know how to get rid of it. Especially from cows, the manure sits in these enormous lagoons and it can pollute the air and the water for hundreds of miles around. So you're saying we should eat vegetables and plant-based proteins more often and meats white or red less frequently than these guys. Exactly. Things that are helpful for us are also helpful for the environment. That's right. So I think maybe tonight we'll have this, and maybe tomorrow night we'll have a bit of that. What do you think? Good plan? Now I know what to make for dinner. Mm -hmm.